All right, MTC back here with the Let's Ride channel. Uh, this is going to be episode four with the Bronco here. It's been a few days since the Sa uh, Seattle Saturday night ride. Um, overall, a pretty great experience. I had a lot of fun, but I'm long overdue for a good ride since. Uh, we've had some bad weather here the past couple of days, and I didn't really want to risk getting caught in the rain and today actually started off really sunny but unfortunately it didn't stay that way and uh, you know I had already planned on going on the ride so I figured I might as well I might as well and I started from a different spot so I almost forgot which way to turn to go the way I want So hope everyone's doing okay out there. It's a crazy, crazy world we live in. Not to uh, get too much into world events, but you know Heidi or yeah, Heidi. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, I actually talked about this on the second video, and I said I wouldn't. So never mind. Just my heart goes out to all the crazy crap happening right now. That's all I really want to say. I'm hearing a clicking. I might have a uh, some dirt or something on my front rotor, which I'm sure will work itself out. I'm gonna make a concerted effort to use my back brakes a bit more today too, just because I have heavily, heavily leaned on my front brakes out of habit with my Cabo Mantis. And so, I need to even it out a bit. Looks like I'm getting a little rattle on my um, front fender today, so probably need to check to make sure that gets tightened down again. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in uh, the first video as I was riding along, but I have noticed that one of the bolts there just will not tighten down fully so it's likely stripped out a little bit I'm hoping if I add a washer to each side and tighten down that it'll work for now because the uh, the vibration is is very apparent but I mean, ultimately, it doesn't stop the scooter from running any any worse than it does, or any better than it does. I, wow. Sentence. Sentence. Learn sentences. I'm just far too focused on trying to make sure I don't crash into anyone today. Not that that was an issue anytime recently but you know the, the night ride back from the Seattle Saturday night ride was a little rough because the the Burke Gilman trail isn't that well lit <laughs> and I might post a clip of it probably not though because the, the video is just terrible it's too dark out but there's this rabbit that ran alongside me and darted out in front of me once. So I slowed down and stopped in time. And it went off to the right. And you know, I thought that was that was the end of that. Should be fine. Nope. 
it came back, started running right alongside of me again, and decided to try darting in front of me again. And this time, it came so close that, as opposed to running over it and getting it squished all in my motors, um, I, I, you know, put on a hard stop, and the scooter stayed upright, luckily. Nothing bad with that. I, along with uh, the scooter stopping, I actually jumped off and used my my feet to anchor as well, just to make sure that I didn't break this beast of a scooter within the first month of purchase. Uh, so I am at 572 miles at this point in time on the odometer. As far as this current trip, 2.6 miles, and I'm at 91.9 .9 volts resting. And you know, I've really just wanted a chill ride since then, so I am going to go to my favorite trail, which is the Sammamish River Trail. So I'll get on that, hopefully get off on Willows, do a little speed test, and call it good. I actually did try to take this video uh, a day or like Monday, I believe, but uh, I wasn't too happy with how it came out, honestly. Not because the ride was bad, but because it decided to rain on me. partially through the video in fact within like I, I believe it was like the first 10 minutes and uh, that ended up causing me to cut my route short which I don't like to do so I just cut it short cut the ride short and didn't didn't post the video, but that's all right. It's nothing, nothing bad about the Bronco. Just more of my disappointment about the weather. I was hoping we would get some more beautiful sunny days, as opposed to these overcast and cloudy <laughs> overcast. Oh my gosh, overcast and dreary days see what happens. I need to actually focus on my words. I'm getting some pulsing from the sine wave controllers right now at about 44, 45 feels like. Again, something to get used to. It's nothing wrong. Though I think maybe again, there's got to be some tweaks they can do with the settings on the controllers or like maybe matching the motors to the controllers a bit better. I have no idea what those kids are saying, but something probably derogatory about scooters, which is fine. <laughs> That's what people don't understand. You don't have to, you don't have to put others down to make yourself feel better about the things you like and do. You just do the things you like and do and enjoy. The less you start caring about what other people think, the happier you're, you're going to be. Now don't get me wrong, there's some that seek out fame. I mean, some would say that's me by posting this to YouTube, right? But honestly, 
I could care less. I stated this in the very first video. I just want a medium to be able to post my videos and share my passion with people. As you can tell, I'm not going to overproduce this whatsoever. This is pretty much one take every video. Keep it as raw as possible. On your left. And we're on the path. Hopefully there's not too many people out. I'm sure there will be. I mean, it's it's a decent day. Decent enough. But it is pretty dreary. So, who knows? We'll see. Looks like I get some pretty clear road up here. Oh, I got some uh, racing slicks today. They came in the mail, I'm very happy. I didn't put them on. Probably gonna wait on that. Might be a bit, unless, unless the forecast shows we're gonna have some really good weather for the next like couple of weeks. Because, man, do I wanna give those a shot. But that said, I do want the steering damper before I put those on and give them a shot. Because the whole point in me getting those is to get the most speed I can get out of this Bronco. And I'm not willing to test this above what I've tested it already without that damper. It's just, uh-uh. I haven't crashed from a speed wobble as of yet, and I'd like to keep it that way. And in fact, I'd like to not experience any more speed wobbles if at all possible. Now granted, I do plan on buying more scooters and, and riding them around and, you know, potentially having a fleet of them, right? When I say fleet, I mean, come on, like five or six of them, you know? Because I have three, and that's just three more. But I don't know. Despite the weather though today, this is actually, this is actually a surprisingly chill ride. I'm liking it. On your left, on your left. On your left. why people don't hog the path. If you're gonna hog the path, I'm not even gonna give you a heads up. <laughs> well, maybe I will. Of course I will. Except that time. Did not care.
On your left. On your left. Thank you. A little too bumpy. We're here to get up to speed and feel safe. <laughs> Could definitely get up to speed. Just wouldn't be safe. Uh. Hey, it looks like there's a PEV up there, or just a well-laid border. Border. I don't be, see any pedaling, so. Cool if I split the mid? <laughs> Thank you. On your left. On your left. On your left. Notice how I slowed up to that bike because I knew he was going to pedal fast and try to cut me off. <laughs> That's because people constantly underestimate the speed of these things. That guy's zooming. On your left. Looks like we've got some soccer games going on on the left side.
Hey, that guy didn't actually try to cut me off. I should have gone faster. On your left. Thank you. On your left. On your left. On your left. Thank you. Yeah, that was some imprecise laning right there. I kind of feel bad for that, uh, that guy. Because I did not give him the most room I could have. I mean, he still had plenty of room, but I just still feel bad when I do that. On your left. Coming up on your left. Thank you. On your left. Thank you. Gosh, I'm trying to get used to putting my weight on my left foot. I should just ride one footed, that'll probably get me used to it. But I don't want to train my whole body, not just my left foot. On your left. Sorry. On your left. It's a busy walkway today. These people walking three wide, that's just nice. Gosh darn it, I gotta start using my back brakes. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I probably should have repressurized my tires because I'm sure I have to believe that on that ride back from uh, Seattle Saturday night ride that I, I lost some pressure. So I was hitting some nasty, nasty pavement conditions. 
like nasty. It was gross. So I'm just going to get where the actual lane for cars here. hearing some some weird stuff I'm hoping it's just the pavement but I'll have to check things out a little bit I'm going into headwind right now. This is rough. Back into the bike lane. Just because I'm... I'm sure with how little cars there are on here, there's probably someone behind me that's just gonna fly past me. So better not be on the road for that. turn what are you doing stopped like in the middle of her turn makes no sense why people do that and people are worried about people on scooters like that person right there if the person behind them wasn't paying enough attention that could have caused an accident Wow, that's probably gonna come back up on the uh, GoPro there. That thing fucking hit my uh, visor pretty hard. I don't know what that was, I think it was a bug. <laughs> wow.
trying to get a cramp in my leg. God, those cops always freak me out. In most cases, I'm fine. But I was going like 40 up that hill, at least. people, too many people. Yeah, I'm gonna stop off at the store. I will be right back. <clears throat> Be right back. All right, back at it. Be right back on the road. Just had to grab a couple of my favorite rock stars. Super sour apple, 300 milligram. Far too much caffeine, but just enough for me. Feels a little more squirrely. I think that's definitely a tire pressure issue. Hopefully the camera isn't all messed up because I forgot I didn't bring my backpack, so... <laughs> Whoops! So hopefully the GoPro's straight, but 
might just drop these off real quick and continue riding. In fact, I think that is what I will do. So I'm gonna go ahead and end part one here. I probably should have just done it at the store, but uh, oh well, what can you do? So thanks for <laughs> thanks for joining me. Uh, this is the Let's Ride channel. I'm MTC, and this is the Taming the Bronco series, part four A. Uh, it might turn into just part four, depending upon if I really want to go back out and ride, which I think I do. It's looking actually pretty nice out uh, the further I go, so. I might as well, but hope to see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see, and uh, hopefully you'll start seeing a progression of me getting better at doing this um, because I'm having a lot of fun. So I hope that's coming through, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm out. <laughs>